what's up guys, Benny here and welcome to ranking the top 5 best assault rifle loadouts from worst to best in Call of Duty Warzone. Now, I think we all know that the assault rifle is probably the most effective and best weapon class in Warzone. But right now, what are the five best assault rifle and loadout combinations? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly that and give you those best class setups so you're in the best position to succeed in Warzone. Also, if you do find this video useful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button as 75% of you watching are not subscribed to the channel and you'll get better at Warzone, I promise. So in fifth place for the best assault rifle loadouts in Warzone, I have the Groza paired with the Car 98K Sniper. Now I'll be honest with you, I personally think the Groza is slept on by a lot of players because it definitely has a playstyle that makes it pretty unique in Warzone. When using it, it's definitely an AR that you want to use in those short to medium range gunfights. Any further away and the gun's recoil pattern is just going to stop you from being able to land consecutive shots easily. And against other assault rifles like the AMAX or even the M4A1, you're probably going to be outgunned. But that's also why I tend to pair the Groza with a sniper, because when I'm fighting at short to medium range, I've got the Groza, which is one of the best in class. And then anyone further away, I swap to my Car 98, which I feel is the best aggressive sniper in the game right now, which is going to help me win those long range fights. But what I love about the Groza is its high damage profile, dealing 45 damage for a headshot and then 36 to the chest. Combined with a fire rate of 754 rounds per minute, you end up with a pretty fast time to kill. But you'll notice one of the strong points is whilst I'm aiming down sights, where I'm actually moving pretty damn quickly. And that's because the Groza's mobility and probably its strongest point is really high for an assault rifle, which is what gives it that hybrid feeling of being the middle ground between an assault rifle and SMG. So let's check out that loadout. But first, I'd like to give a massive shout out to one of my partners, Command, which is my energy drink of choice. It's got no sugar, it's got low calories, and is packed with vitamins designed to enhance your performance when playing Warzone. So you're gonna be able to play at the best of your ability and make sure that you're as switched on as you possibly can. Uh, personally, I've been drinking blue raspberry recently, and if you use the code BennyPurp or Benny Blue, you get 10% off and six free cans. Uh, so make sure to go check that out in the description. But onto my Groza Car 98 class. The Groza, I actually really enjoy using this weapon, as I said, but on the muzzle, you go for the Gru Suppressor. It's like the agency suppressor. The barrel's very difficult to choose from because they're all labeled wrong. You want to go for the Gru Composite. This barrel on most assault rifles from Black Ops Cold War seems to be the best one uh, to give you the highest bullet velocity possible. The under barrel, you go for that Spetnaz Speed Grip for vertical and horizontal recoil control. Ammunition, I've been using the VDV 60 round fast mag and then we go to the stock and use the Raider stock. It gives you sprint to fire time and also increases that aim walking movement speed, which as we all know, is incredible. The grows on one of the major selling points. On the Car 98K, uh, I go for the muzzle. It's the monolithic suppressor. The barrel, you want the longest one because it's war zone. Laser, tack laser, increases your aim down sight speed. I then use the sniper scope and then the F-TAC sport comb stock. And then on the reticle as well, I've been using cross thread if you want to use the one I have. Uh, and then on the rest of the loadout, EOD, overkill, amped, C4 and a heartbeat sensor, and that's rank number five. Now, in fourth place, we have an assault rifle making its way back into one of my weapon lists, which it hasn't for a while now, and that's the Growl. The Growl was at one point in time the best weapon in Warzone, with it dominating the meta, and for good reason, because it was an absolute laser. I mean, the Growl could be used by pretty much anyone, and has one of the cleanest iron sights in Call of Duty history, which made it comfortably beat snipers at range at the height of its powers. However, since the recent nerfs to weapons like the Kilo and the DMR at a distance, I feel like the Growl has sort of come back into play to be the long range assault rifle of choice as it holds that 556 damage profile that's shared with a whole load of the modern warfare assault rifles from the M4 to the Kilo, which deals 42 damage for a headshot and then 28 everywhere else, meaning you can kill almost anyone in just nine bullets without headshots. And when your gun has 
very low recoil and fires at 730 rounds per minute, that's going to win you a lot of gunfights. With the Growl though, I'll always pair it with an SMG. The Growl is your medium to long range weapon. Where it falls short is up close, so it's important to make sure that your loadout gives you the best chance in the most possible scenarios that you're going to find yourself in. But for me, the Growl is one of those all time great weapons in Warzone, and this is the loadout you're going to want with it. So on the Growl itself, you're gonna have that monolithic suppressor before choosing your barrel, where you're gonna want the Archangel. That Archangel barrel gives you that really clean iron sight that is the best in the game before having the tack laser so you can maximize your aim down sight speed. The under barrel, you have the commando foregrip as it's the only one that doesn't punish aim down sight speed. Ammo, the 60 round mag, and then that is your growl setup. But also I pair it with an SMG and the MAC-10 is currently my SMG of choice. However, I don't use the base MAC-10. I always use the gallantry blueprint because it's got a better iron sight. Uh, so I'd recommend doing that if you're not already. Agency suppressor, the 5.9 task force barrel, the field agent grip, then the 53 round fast mag, and then I finish it off with the raider stock, and that is my MAC-10 setup, and that is my growl loadout. Now, in third place for my best assault rifle loadouts in Warzone from worst to best, we have the dominating meta loadout before the Black Ops Cold War integration, and that is the Kilo SMG. Now, I think by now, we all are aware of how good the Kilo can be. And though it did receive a stealth nerf for longer range encounters, it still is one of the best all-round assault rifles in the game, which a lot of pro players have started using again since the nerf to the DMR. Like the Grout, it has that 5.56 damage profile of 28 damage to the body and 42 to the chest, and really stands above the other popular weapons like the M4A1, which I feel is still used by a lot of players as it's one of the first guns available to you when playing Call of Duty for the first time. But the Kilo is just Mr. Reliable. If you need a weapon that's going to perform consistently well at a high level, no matter your skill, the Kilo is probably the weapon that I would recommend to use to everyone, as it's just so easy to use. There's no recoil, it's got a solid fire rate of 751 rounds per minute, and because it's so easy to control, the better you get, the easier you'll find it to land consecutive headshots, giving you those much faster time to kills. But you definitely need an SMG or shotgun to use with it because the Kilo does fall short like the Grau at close range, so this is the loadout you're going to want to use. Now I think by now most of us know the Kilo setup, but you're gonna have the Monolithic Suppressor, the Syngard 19.8 Prowler Barrel, the Commando Foregrip, 60 round mag, and the VLK 3x Optic, but always, in my opinion, you want to go ahead and use the T-Pose reticle. Super clean, really easy to use, not enough people are using it, and it's quite quick un to unlock compared to the blue dot on the holographic. And then it's that MAC-10 again. Once again, gallantry blueprint, go ahead and use that. Deselect all the attachments, agency suppressor, 5.9 task force, the field agent grip, 53 round fast mag, and then the raider stock, and that is is my Kilo loadout of choice. But do you know an assault rifle that doesn't fall short at close range and is quite possibly my favorite weapon in Warzone right now and places second in my assault rifle loadouts list? It has got to be the FFAR or the Fafar. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. The FFAR is just a ridiculous weapon. It's got one of the fastest time to kills in the entire game because it's one of the hardest hitting assault rifles and also has one of the fastest fire rates. Now, you do need to have the right setup for it because if you've gone ahead and picked up one of the floor loop versions of the weapon with the 25 round mag, it's just about enough to take out a single opponent before you need to reload. But get that 50 round mag in and you can shred entire teams before they even have a chance to react. Now, the FFAR is going to fall short at a distance because even though the recoil is manageable at short to medium range, at a distance, the gun just has too high of a fire rate to land those consecutive shots, which is why, like the Groza, I pair the FFAR with the Car 98K, so I'm as versatile as possible in a match. But the FFAR fires at an astonishing 900 rounds per minute, dealing 45 damage for a headshot, 33 to the chest, and then 30 to the limbs. 
Like I said, it's stupidly good, especially when you look at the Kilo and Growl, which deal 28 and 42. Now, to get the most out of it, you want to be using it in those short to medium range gunfights. It's going to even be able to outgun most SMGs if you're holding down an area. Yes, because it's an assault rifle, it's got a slower sprint of fire time and a slower mobility, but the class setup that I'm about to show you is going to allow you to completely lock down an area and get some high kill games. So let's take a look. Now, as I said, this is my favorite loadout in Warzone right now. And if you haven't tried this yet, please go ahead and do it. It is incredible. On the muzzle, you want the agency suppressor. Then the barrel, we go for that 21.2 Ranger because we want that maximum bullet velocity. On the under barrel, you go for that bruiser grip. It says melee quickness. It doesn't do that. It's just the most amount of vertical recoil control. So you're going to be able to land all those shots at short to medium range. On the ammo, I go for the Salvo 50 round fast mag because you're going to burn through those clips pretty damn quickly. And then the stock, we go for that Raider stock, faster sprint to fire time, aim walking movement speed, incredible attachment. And this is an absolute beast. Amazing, amazing weapon and underrated by so many. The Car 98 is the one that we saw earlier. Pretty much the same. Monolithic Suppressor, 27.6 barrel, the TAC Laser, the Sniper Scope, and then the FTAC Sport Comb Stock. And also, make sure to change your reticles if you're not already. Uh, and that is Car 98K setup, and that is my favorite loadout in Warzone. And in first place for the best assault rifle loadouts in Call of Duty Warzone, we have the CR-56 AMAX. This gun is just an absolute beast. It's hard hitting, fairly easy to use once you manage to get used to the recoil. This is mostly vertical kick, but it's the assault rifle that most pros are now using over the Kilo and DMR. It's got an incredibly high headshot damage with 56 damage of bullets, and then 42 for a shot to the chest, which is the same as a headshot with the Kilo. That's how hard it hits. Yes, it's got a slower rate of fire at 630 rounds per minute. But as I said, the recoil is pretty much just vertical. So I find it really easy to just aim to the chest and then allow the AMAX to kick up to land headshots and your opponents are going to drop ridiculously quickly. Now the AMAX, like the Kilo, I feel is best paired with an SMG. Because of that slow rate of fire, you're not going to be able to easily win gunfights up close because it's just not the most mobile assault rifle, but it makes up for it in just sheer damage output. So make sure you're using it at medium range. And if opponents are a little further away, try to mount. It's just something not enough players do when initiating a gunfight, but with the high damage profile of the AMAX, it's going to allow you to get some very easy kills, which could make all the difference in a team fight. But let's check out the loadout that you're going to want to be using with the best assault rifle in Warzone. Now, this is the meta loadout, in my opinion. The CR-56, I absolutely love this weapon. The Monolithic Suppressor, the Zodiac Barrel. Then you have the Commando Foregrip. If you struggle with the recoil, make sure to just use the Ranger Foregrip instead. I personally use the Commando Foregrip. Then I go for the 45-round mag. Then the VLK 3 times Optic with that T-Pose reticle. And then we have that SMG that we've seen a couple times already. The MAC-10 with the Gallantry Blueprint. Deselect all the attachments, muzzle, agency suppressor, the 5.9 task force, field agent grip, 53 round mag, and then the Raider stock. And then there we have it. That is the loadout of choice. And those are the top five loadouts. We've got the Grozer, the Growl, the Kilo, then the FFAR, and then we've got the CR-56 AMAX taking the gold medal. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I hope these loadouts help you out as well. And I will see you next time.